Now let me show you how your Concrete Calc Pro's stair function can save you hours of frustrating calculations and stair table lookups. First of all, you need to understand that the target riser height in the stair function is seven and a half inches. Now you can override it and put in a five inch riser or an eight inch riser, and that's fine, but for this example, we're gonna use a seven and a half inch target riser height. So first off, we put in the floor to floor rise, say nine feet, uh, four inches is our height. Enter that there. Now I'm just going to press the stair key repeatedly for a whole series of answers. The first press tells me that the riser height that divides most evenly into that total drop is 7 and 7 sixteenths, which is fine. Press it again, there's going to be 15 risers. Press it again, the R stands for remainder, that says that there's a minus 7 sixteenths of an inch adjustment that I need to make at the top or the bottom or spread it across several of them. Uh, the tread width defaults to 10 inches wide. There's 14 treads. Uh, there's no adjustment or remainder on that one. The stairwell opening is 10 feet 1 inches of, of headroom. And the stringer length is 14 foot 6 and 1 half inches. And the angle of incline is 36.64 degrees. And finally, the total run of the stairway is 11 foot 8 inches, which is great. Now for our next example, let's assume that you're doing stairway into a basement and you've got a horizontal run constraint where the maximum run you can do is 11 foot 6. That's as far as you can go toward that wall. So let's come back and put 11 feet 6 inches as our length. Now go back through the stair routine. Same 7 and 7 16 inch riser height, same 15 risers, and the same adjustment factor. The tread width now though doesn't say 10, it says 9 and 7 eighths. And there's a little exclamation point in a triangle that's like an alert saying, hey, this is below your target tread width. But that's fine. We assume you've checked it out with your client and the local building inspector, so we're going to go right ahead with that 9 and 7 eighths inch tread width. So there's going to be 14 treads. There's one quarter inch uh, remainder or adjustment to factor in. The stairwell opening is 9 foot 11 and a half. The stringer length is 14 foot 5 and 1 16th. Uh, the angle incline is 36.99. And of course, the run is the 11 foot 6 horizontal constraint we put in. So that's a quick overview on this stair layout function. For more details, you can download the user guide at www.calculated.com support.